Randall Fye, Chula Vista Public Library. Learning how to multiply six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 using any one of the same five digits. In learning this math trick, we could use our hands, but instead of using our hands, what we're gonna do is grab some paper, any color, and we're gonna place our hands on top of it and trace both our right hand and our left hand, get some scissors and cut them out. And as soon as we cut them out, this is what we would get. Uh, we should have a good understanding applying these numbers to these 10 digits from zero to 10. So zero times zero, zero times one, all the way up to zero times 10, and taking it from five times zero, five times one, five times two, all the way up to five times 10. Here is our left hand, our right hand, and each finger has a number to it. Uh, the right hand has six, seven, eight, nine, ten for the five fingers, and the same goes for the left. So, two rules uh, when it comes to the multiplications of six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. When you multiply these numbers to any of these numbers, the first rule is you have to join a finger from the left with the finger on the right hand. So for example, if you're gonna multiply six times nine, you will join those two fingers. If you're gonna multiply eight times eight, you just join those two fingers. If you're gonna multiply 10 times nine or eight, you'd have to join those two fingers. That's the rule. So how does the first rule work? So the first rule works where the fingers are joined. Each finger, that is joined, plus the ones below, you count as 10. So there is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, when you're doing multiplications of seven times eight. That's the first rule. So seven times eight, those two joined fingers and the ones below, you count as 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. The second rule is the fingers that are above the joined fingers, you multiply the left hand, the fingers of the left hand with the fingers of the right hand. So in this example, seven times eight, you would do three times two, which is six. So uh, putting it all together, seven times eight is equal to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, plus three times two. Seven times eight is 56. Let's try another one. How about we do a Six times nine. Well, six times nine is, if you look at the joined fingers, there are two here, so 10, 20, 30, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So that is the first part. There is 50, and the second part is four times one. So six times nine is 54. Let's do one more. How about eight times six? Eight times six is 10, 20, 30, 40, and two times four. So eight times six is 48. All right, good job.